All right, Shalom. <clears throat> Give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the sincere. Hopefully, let this push in his word, doing his work, the four corners of the earth, doing his dangerous sincerity. To say Shalom. And this is just an uh, update. I said I was going to come back and uh, find something on um, the Hurricane Ian. And I found one. From one article says looting other crimes amid former Hurricane Ian drive officials to enforce a curfew. Yeah, because I mentioned um, the Opus Motorandi by uh, Esau Edom. Um, at the top is Order at order out of chaos order of chaos and with uh events like this um they also have a phrase that goes never let a crisis go to waste meaning they're going to exploit and optimize situations such as these because they know certain people are in um adverse situations So it, uh, it talks about, I am sad to tell you that we don't know the full extent of the damage to Lee County right now. We are beginning to get a sense of that our community has been in some respects disseminated, 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 decimated, sloppy. Right, so it says 80% is out of power. More than 2 million residents, I don't know if you can see more than... More, it said more than two residents in the state of Florida were without power as of Wednesday night. Today is Friday. Another quote says, "To be sure, I feel safe relying this on a on a be on behalf of law enforcement. There's going to be zero tolerance policy for looting and violence in this town." Yeah. So it was another one. Um, he saw getting his drawers tore off. <laughs> says, After Ian, the effects in South of Florida, South of Florida, Florida are everywhere. It will take two months to clean up all the damage, maybe longer, and some of the destruction can't be cleaned up at all. Right, so you see that. Draws completely off. Feel for Esau Edom. You know, a lot of times these storms. Let's see if they let me switch. Yep. Let's see. Come on. Come on, praises. A lot of times these storms really get Esau Edom and his property and his things. You know. <laughs> and uh, insurance doesn't cover cover. I I, I believe I see a McLaren out there. There's a McLaren out there, uh, flooded. You know? You know, you got a lot of Jakes out there. Maybe Jake might come through, you know, double back and, uh, a lot of, uh, Haitians out there may start to loot, come and loot out of town. Who knows? So restaurants, establishments. So Fort Myers is is the predominant area that got hit. I didn't take this as seriously as I should have. Yeah, these events like I would uh be. I would take heed to what's going on around, you know, if uh, you're getting warnings like that, because they'll come really fast. I believe uh, Biden, let's see. Says Buddha gag 
this uh flame flaming this flamer right here says Buddha gig pressed on Biden's price gouging warning to oil industry on Hurricane Ian. Act responsibly. So this might gouge the price of oil. I believe he didn't uh Biden never mad. Biden didn't call Governor uh what is it um DeSantis if I'm not mistaken, um, of Florida until, you know, it got bad. And then he called after the fact because he, he, he didn't even check up on her. Because, uh, you know, they got pretty much uh, tensions because uh, Governor um, DeSantis might run for president in 2024. So I'll get these two scriptures. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of, of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise and with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. All right, so this this is uh, these events, like I said, be tar targeted normally towards Esau Edom. It don't, it don't hit the projects a lot of times. You know, for the majority of the, uh, the time, these storms and these fires, they hit right at home in Esau Edom. And, Little Timmy and them got to pack their shit up and, and relocate, man. All right. And the next season roll around, shit happens again. Okay. Because the Lord is going to destroy, ultimately destroy Ma ba Babylon the Great with um, ultimate fire. All right. To, to totally decimate this place at the, at the, end, at the end of the day. At the end of it all, thunder as well can start can spark up fires and, and events like this. If it gets real bad to people, it breaks down to sedition. It breaks down to you. I need the resources for me and my family, and that's why uh, the Jacob's trouble could start with a quote unquote natural disaster. And um, get it kicked off like that. So we're just, you know, it's how the Lord wants to play it. So this is the book of Luke, chapter 12 and 49. I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? Okay, so the Lord's going to have events go on. He's going to have earthquakes. He's going to have volcanoes go off. He's going to have a lot of events going on simultaneously. So it's going to be a a burden upon this place, the burden of Babylon, as the scriptures say. This place is going to be bombarded with uh, total destruction until it's taken out in one hour, uh, according to scripture. Because that's all it's going to take to completely uh, get rid of this place. Okay, so low willing, this is edifying. I'm going to give up. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, or Hakwadash, the apostles, and the elders at Great Millstone, who will shall win.